Hey there, Sales Funnel Nerd here, and welcome to this video. Today, where I'm going to talk to you about how to read the stats in your ClickFunnels dashboard and know if people are opting in, if they're spending money, and uh, how to know what's going on here. So, when you're inside your funnels, uh, one of the options will say steps, and then right beside it, it'll say stats. And when you go into it, it's going to tell you all of your info about your funnel, especially your uh, EPC, when people talk about EPC, that's earnings per click, uh, how much the funnel is made in total, and how much each person who, how much each customer is worth uh, in your funnel. So let's take a look at each thing here in a little bit more detail, and I'll show you uh, just how to read all this stuff here and know uh, what you're looking at. So you can go and you can set your date range on your your funnel here, and when you're looking at the steps, it's kind of nice because they've got the icons beside it here, so this will kind of let you know what's going on. So this one here where it's got a little uh, envelope beside it. So this is an email opt-in page and for this one you can see it's going to give us different um, categories here and we've got page views, opt-in sales, uh, earnings per page view uh, in the uh, setup here. So for each one of these here now with the page views I'm not too concerned with the uh, all amount I'm more concerned with the unique visitors how many people how many unique visitors have been there so we can see out of the unique visitors 83 of them have opted in so that gives me a conversion rate if you want to know how your landing page is converting what's the what's the conversion rate on your landing page uh, what is the rate that people are opting in and joining your list that's going to tell you that right there so we can see 32.9 percent of the people are putting in their email address and and opting in to the email list there. So after that, we've got a sales page. So out of the out of the people that see that, what we're concerned about, we're not worried about this uh, opt-in column anymore here, where it's got 65 and 57. What we're worried about is again with our unique visitors. So we've got 100 over 100 people to the page here. So this is going to give us a little bit more accurate result. Ultimately, we want to send tons of people here and get uh, even more information and data from this. But we can see out of the 114 people that have been uh, to the sales page that have seen it, uh, we've got 11 sales out of that. So we can see uh, that this is converting at 9%, 9.6% on this, right? And now because we've got uh, an OTO, which stands for one-time upsell, sorry, it stands for one-time offer, we can see that we've had one sale of our OTO. So that's converting. Our OTO is converting at 9%. So what does that mean as far as baseline or what we should be shooting at here? One of the cool things that I downloaded before from the people over at Digital Marketer uh, was a cool spreadsheet that explained or kind of laid out uh, it was like a calculator, so you could figure out your conversion rates and EPCs and uh, average customer value and all that kind of stuff. But on the sheet, it basically gave kind of a conversion rate guide. So for our tripwire, so if this here is a low-priced offer, this is our tripwire, it said to aim for somewhere around 5%. Now, maybe I'll do, get my editor to do something fancy and have the numbers come up on the screen. But for basically for our tripwire offer, our low-priced offer, something in the like, say, 7 to $20 range, we want to have that convert around 5%. Now, after that, if we've got some type of uh, main core offer, the numbers that they had, they had was 30%. So out of what that means is out of the people that buy, so if we had 100 people buy, 30% of those people should go on and buy our core offer if it's structured properly, if it's a good offer. Um, but that's uh, what the 30% of that means. And then they've also got, as far as the next item on there, is some type of profit maximizer. So that's something, you know, in the 300 to 500, maybe a $1,000 range, that's uh, an additional offer uh, in the sales funnel. And the conversion rate on that one, they have listed as 10%. Right? So five on the tripwire, 30% on the core offer, and another 10% after that take advantage should be 10% uh, for the profit maximizer. So, so that's what that means. And that's how to read your info on, uh, on here as far as your conversion stats. And then below, you're just going to have information as far as how many people have hit your order confirmation page um, and how many people are in your membership site if you're delivering it like this through a, a members only website. So that's it. That's how to read your ClickFunnels stats and get all the info about your funnels. Don't forget to download your funnel blueprints. I'll have a link below this video. And I'll have a link below this video to a free training that you can watch and see inside funnels and how I work my magic. It's 100% free, and all you have to do is just click below to get access. Other than that, don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, print, everything. Click everything below this video, and I will see you in the next one.